Okay. Well, there are so many things that I've experienced that have been so mm, life-changing for me. But one of them is the big picture, general idea about changing my brain. I have always, from a very young age, wanted to be a better person. I've wanted to be more loving, more compassionate. I've wanted to love myself. I've wanted to care about other people. And I tried so many different things, maybe 50 years of uh, personal growth work and everything. I became a minister. I thought that was the way. I've done so many different things. And when I found Sarah in her work uh, about six years ago, started studying this, I didn't really believe that I could change my brain. But you know, I am and it's changing and it's happening in these beautiful, um, deep incremental ways that are subtle and nuanced. But I do have more compassion for other people and I have more compassion for myself, which is even more incredible to me. And that inner critic voice that has been uh, with me my whole life is now a loving voice. And so when I leave my keys somewhere and I can't find them, I just go, oh, sweetheart, you, I love that about you. Yeah, did you just, were you just so distracted that you couldn't find your keys instead of like, yeah, 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 yeah. So that is like, I, I know it sounds small, but it's, it's just an indication of a larger, more uh, comprehensive uh, amount of tidbits that happens as a result of doing this work and changing, changing my brain. So that's really my favorite thing. How much time do I have? <laughs>